coming up. Since aircraft first took to the skies in a combat role, the greatest pilots in history have tallied their victories as a mark of their bravery, experience, and skill as knights of the air. As many airmen would learn, however, taking down an enemy aircraft proved to be a difficult task and any day that one could claim a victory was a reason to celebrate. In this video, we will actually look at a famed German ace who quite possibly set the most impressive record in the history of dogfighting when he would take down a mind-blowing 18 enemy aircraft in a single day of combat. Here is a question for all of you history enthusiasts. Have you ever wished that you could go back and see what it was like to be in command of one of the great forces in World War II, to relive the strategy, trials, and triumphs of this great conflict? Well, guess what? You don't have to wish any longer. This video's sponsor, Call of War, has created an incredible World War II strategy game that gives you the opportunity to do just that. Call of War is a completely free-to-play, player-versus-player strategy game that puts you in command of a nation in World War II. Use tons of different units and weapons to build your army, forge alliances, or even declare war on your neighbors. You can also research different weapons like Germany's V2 rockets or the atom bomb to help you achieve victory. This immersive free game is available on PC and mobile so you can play wherever you like. And for just 30 days, using the link in the description, you can get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription totally free. And best of all, it supports TJ3 history. So don't wait. Use your own tactics and decisions to decide the outcome of World War II and support my content at the same time by trying Call of War today. Without further ado, enjoy. Imo Lang was born on January 14th of 1909 in Germany. Due to his barrel-chested build and his resemblance to a bulldog, Lang was given the nickname Bully. Before World War II broke out, he was a commercial pilot flying with the Dutch Lufthansa Airlines. It wasn't until January 4th of 1938 that Lang would join the Luftwaffe as a member of the Military Reserve Force. As it turned out, his timing could not have been better to see the first action of the war, as he ended up being put on active duty in August of 1939, just a few days before Germany invaded Poland. With the war officially underway, Lang actually first served as a transport pilot. In this role, he flew missions to Norway, France, Crete, and North Africa before promotion on November 1st of 1941. To his delight, he was finally accepted for fighter pilot training in 1942 when he was 33 years old. This was an unusually old age to begin training, but Lang took his classes seriously and he trained hard over the next few months. By the time 1942 came to an end, he had graduated from fighter school and was ready to be sent to the front lines. In January of 1943, he was assigned to JG-54 on the eastern front of the war, where he would see combat against the Soviets. When Lang joined JG-54, the squadron had just recently replaced the Messerschmitt Bf 109 with the new focke Wolf 190, an aggressive fighter that seemed to be tailor-made for Lang. Here, he found himself as one of the oldest pilots in the Luftwaffe, but this would not slow him down. He jumped into the fray quickly and took down his first enemy aircraft on March 23rd when he would claim a MiG-3 near St. Petersburg, Russia. This would be the first of many more to come. By July, Lang had raised his kill count to 12, making him a double ace. This success would be appropriately noticed by his superior officers, who then promoted him to squadron leader on August 20th of 1943. Lang continued his success for the rest of the year, with his kill tally reaching over 100 victories and earning him the 58th Luftwaffe pilot to hit the century mark. By October of 1943, JG-54 was fighting across eastern Ukraine, and Lang was on a roll with undeniably violent, bully-like behavior that made his nickname all the more perfect. Over the next few weeks, this success would only grow, as he would find himself making history very soon. 
On the 13th of October, Lang became the center of attention when he downed 10 enemy aircraft in a single day. Not stopping there, the German ace then took down 12 more on the 21st, just a week later. By the time the month was over, Lang had downed 68 enemy aircraft in October and his skill was not going unnoticed. These three combat missions in October earned him a spot in a prestigious information bulletin that was issued by the headquarters of the Wehrmacht. Because of this, Lang had nothing but the highest hopes for November, and he did not disappoint. At the end of the second day of the month, Lang had already achieved eight victories. He was on top of the world, but unbeknownst to him, the very next day would bring him his greatest moment of triumph. On November 3rd of 1943, Ima Lang would enter the Battle of Kiev in what started out as a routine day. He was assigned multiple sorties and was ready to take to the skies as soon as he received his orders. The first kill of this day came at 9.31 a.m. Here he was on a routine patrol near the city when he attacked a group of IL-2 Sturmoviks and Yak-7 fighters. In just 11 minutes, Lang single-handedly was able to take out four of the armored IL-2s. This was all the more impressive because the IL-2 has gone down in history as one of the most rugged aircraft to ever fly. Yet here, Lang took down four of the Soviet bombers without any issue. But in addition, he also claimed three of the Yak fighter escorts as well, giving him seven victories claimed in total before it was even lunchtime. After such a productive start to the day, he was ready for more by the afternoon. At roughly 1 p.m., Lang was flying when he came across a single LA-5 fighter on his second sortie of the day. This aircraft he was able to take down with ease. A little over an hour later, he found himself on another fighter sweep where he would reach the pinnacle of this famed story. In a span of just eight minutes, starting at 2.15 p.m., he took down six Soviet planes. Four of these victories would be more of the IL-2 bombers, while the other two would be LA-5s. In this incredible stretch, it brought him to 14 total kills on the day, and he was currently just three victories away from tying the prestigious record set by renowned pilot Hans Joachim Marseille just a year earlier. With this goal no doubt in the back of his mind, Lang then set his eyes on his next target he was able to locate and tried his best to conserve his remaining ammunition. 12 minutes later, at 2.45 p.m., he located another flight of bombers and fighters. He picked out two of the Yak-9 escorts and dove in. Both of these targets set themselves up easily for the seasoned German ace, and he took down the pair in less than two minutes. Immediately following this, with the last few rounds of his ammunition left, he fixed his gaze on the IL-2 Sturmoviks that the Yaks were escorting. He unloaded the last of his remaining firepower onto the formation and was not only able to take down the one more that he needed to tie Marseille's record, but was also able to destroy a second. As he watched these two IL-2s plummet towards the ground, a smile likely came across Lang's face as he realized the gravity of the feat that he had just accomplished. He had surpassed the most impressive air combat record in history and had taken down 18 enemy aircraft in a single day. After this momentous accomplishment, Lang returned to his airfield and was greeted with cheers and celebration by his fellow airmen and grounds crew. November 3rd of 1943 would be the most successful day for Lang as a fighter ace and for any pilot in history. His accomplishments on this fateful day would land him a cover spot on Berlin's Premier Magazine. By November 25th of 1943, he was also awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross and the German Cross in Gold for his 119 aerial victories. Lang's bully behavior in the skies earned him prestigious recognition and a world record that will likely never be defeated. But a short time later, he was moved to the western front of the war, where he would continue his bullying and claim 29 more aerial victories from May to August of 1944, until September 3rd of 1944. On this day, Lang would have trouble with his landing gear and was shot down shortly after takeoff by an American Mustang. 
He was killed when his 190 exploded on contact with the ground. The famed German ace was 35 years old. Don't forget to check out Call of War, the free strategy game that lets you command the epic battles of World War II. Use the link below to get 13k gold and one month of premium for free. It's only available for a short time, so don't wait. Choose your country and fight to victory in Call of War. Thank you guys so much for watching this historical recreation. If you want to support my content, please check out my fan store here and make sure to click subscribe right here. And if you want to go above and beyond, feel free to support me on Patreon, which can be found in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.